how uh, is changed your life from the moment in which uh, you were arrested? Of course, the whole life has changed for me. I mean, I left the country, I spent three months in prison, and I was arrested, I was shot at in front of the courthouse, and now I have to leave uh, away from my wife and my house and my country and in a country uh, quite foreign to me and of course everything has changed so far okay. and um, do you think that uh, people from Europe in which some rights are almost sure can understand the loss of this kind of rights in Turkey of course they know everything I mean they know how difficult for us to suffer and uh, to, they know uh, the, the situation in Turkey and the, the, the amount of the pressure that the government has been using against the op its opponents and they know everything but the problem is they don't react they don't uh, sometimes they don't care they don't sometimes they don't they are hesitate they hesitate to, to react and why, uh, according to you, Europe mm, doesn't react? Just the refugees. I mean, they don't want the refugees come to European soil, and they don't. They want to keep them in uh, lock in Turkey. And Erdogan is been using that, doing that, and that's why they don't want to annoy Erdogan uh, by criticizing him. What can do now, Europe? Yeah, they should be more vocal and critical about what's going on in Turkey and they have to warn the Turkish government and they have to stand by us instead of the government. You think that the price um, which you have the nomination can be assigned from Europe to Turkey and to journalists? It's already a sign, I mean, to be shown as a candidate for the Sakharov Award. It's already a message to the Turkish journalists in jail that Europe a part of Europe is supporting them, mm -hmm. and at the same time it's a message to the Turkish government that uh, part of Europe is not happy with what's going on in Turkey. And personally for you, what it is, this nomination, what does it mean? Yeah, it's an award for our struggle. I mean, we, we put our lives in risk, and it will be a kind of message that we are not alone.